Howdy. So, I have a new segment that I am going to start implementing. Um, I have been doing blogs about my life. Um, because I've had a lot going on. Um, I think I mentioned a little bit in the uh, you're not alone, uh, or no, wasn't you're not alone in my update actually, uh, that I was going to be mentioning later on some stuff that had happened, um, about with an ex roommate. Well, uh, due to some issues, I at that time I, I really could not mention them. Um, but I have chosen now, you know, I got to thinking about it and I'm, I'm trying to figure out why I chose to continue to protect the, you know, a variety of different people. They, they didn't protect me. I mean, one of them posted my real life name, not even my screen name, you know, not even the name that I go by on uh, the virtual world. They didn't even use that name. They used my real life name on their Facebook to slander me. Um, and you ask how I know this, uh, they they turn, turn around to gazos of their uh, slanders and used alts to send it to multiple Abbeys of mine and Chad's uh, to, you know, because they didn't know which ones of all of, you know, all of our, which Abbeys of ours uh, was blocked. So they sent it to a good five or six of our Abbeys to rub it in to make sure we knew what she said what they said um so you know why you know so and, and put at the end that if they want if, if people wanted to know what my business name was to contact them and so and then other things have happened since then. So it's like, why do I continue protecting them? So I started blogs, um, you know, handwriting blogs. Uh, well, not handwriting, typing blogs. And um, so I'm going, and we had something happen y yesterday, uh, which got me woke up. By the way, if you're at wondering, we drink zeros now. Um, which got me woke up. Um, so I've I've decided to take my blogs and turn them into vlogs as well. So I'm going to do both and. You know, maybe both the blogs and the vlogs will help people, you know, not get into the traps that I've gotten into. Um, I mean, we've lost thousands and thousands of dollars because I was trying to help people. Now, I will tell you this. Um... I will not name names. These people know who they are. Um, there's many people who know who they are. Um, I, you know, I've changed, I, you know, in my blogs, I've changed the names. So, you know, if you know who they are, great but if you don't you know hey but you know 
I, I, I have changed the names. I, I need to change the names. It, that's, you know, that's just how it has to be. But because the whole point is, it, it's not about who did it. It's about what was done, you know? Um, right now, I want to talk about what happened yesterday. Um, it's what I'll be writing about today. Um, now, back when all this went down in October, this person told us they were going to contact Adult Protection Service on us and say I abused them. And they did. But they also said I was abusing Chad. They, they literally told Adult Protection Service that I was abusing Chad, stealing his money. They contacted the SPCA they told the police that I was committing credit card fraud um, by using by putting credit card name credit cards in their name, um, which was untrue. Um, they knew that I had put them their name on my credit card. I did not open any credit cards in their name. Okay. I put their name on my credit cards to help build their credit up, um, which they had gone from 400s to low 600s in a matter of months. Um, and they thought that they could get a loan and the second I realized that they were trying to get a loan when, and they didn't even have the money to pay back this loan, I immediately took them off my credit cards because it's like, dude, I'm trying to build, help build your credit, not for, not for you to go spend more money. So I immediately took them off my credit card. So they'd been off my credit card for a month prior to this happening. Um, but I never opened a credit card in their name, um, which I told police this. I'm like, they've not even been on my credit card for a month. Um, they called the SPCA, which the SPCA guy came out and he, he looked at Bay's nails and was like, all right, you know, she calls back. We're going to be like, you know, don't even bother us because... There's absolutely, I mean, he, when we opened the door, you could not smell the litter boxes. The cats were all laying in the, the in the doorway, happy as a lark. Bay's nails were not very long. Um, I mean, yes, they were a little bit long, but she's a 12 year old dog. Um, you know. She carried around most of the places and whatnot. Uh, the SPCA guy was like, you know, I mean, he completely was very understanding. So, well, these people uh, are mad because they got evicted from the apartment that my name is on my husband's name is on uh blaming me because i s was refusing to pay it's not my responsibility you have three people in that apartment and they're not paying their bills okay so they get evicted and i guess now i don't have proof that they are the ones that called but it's either them or my ex. I mean, there is nobody else that would have called. Yeah, my ex is in another state. So, I mean, process elimination, it, it, it's 
and, and the fact that, you know, she, the ex roommate's the one that called last time. Um, they called the Adult Protection Service again. So I woke up yesterday morning to Adult Protection Service. So, um, she told us because we told her last time about the court, uh, the court case. So she told us that she had contacted the police, um, and she would gotten the uh, information from them about what was going on, and that, uh, and I proceeded to tell her everything that had happened with the court case, um, which I will be telling you about that in my next vlog, because yes, there is a court case going on uh, with me and my ex-roommate, with our ex-roommate. Um, but, uh, you know, because she remembered us. I mean, literally, this woman who came in October remembered us. So, she, Chad proceeded to say, you can come out, of, you know, anytime. You're going to see the same thing. And we proceeded to tell her, you know, dude, this, this little group is determined to try to ruin my business, you know, because... That's what they want to do. That's what they're trying to do. Because we stopped paying for them. So they want to ruin me. You know, they already put me. Okay. Yeah, they, they, they want, they want to ruin me. They want Chad to leave me. They want me to lose everything. You know, um, so they they want Chad to leave me. They want me to lose my business. Um, they want it to make it so difficult that I lose everything. So, yeah, um, I had adult protection. This time uh, they were told, because, again, adult protection service cannot say who contacted them. They can only say, uh, tell us uh, what the allegations are. And the allegations are that I am abusing Chad and stealing his money. Okay. Stealing his money. Yeah. But bills are paid. I'm stealing your money, babe. By the way, she talked to Marika too. Marika even said, if anything, I'm too nice. And Marika flatly said, when it comes to big purchases, I ask him. He has the final say, which is very true. I make no big purchases without him. In fact, ever since the crap hat went down, because of the ex-roommate, I make no purchases without him. Okay? Because I don't trust my own judgment anymore. I, I really don't. I, I, I did so much to hurt this family because I believed in this person. And wanted to help this person that I don't trust my own judgment. Um, there will be plenty of vlogs on this person. That's another reason why I will not name who this person is. I'm not going to give them the satisfaction of naming this person. Um, but, you know, it's like I don't trust my own judgment. I help this person. I help my ex. I help this person's friends. I helped an ex-child. Because of these four people, I don't trust my judgment. So I gave the reins back to Chad. <laughs> I paid the bills and any other expenses. Like, uh, baby, can I have? <laughs> 
don't trust my own judgment anymore. I mean, I, I mean, it's not because it's not because he has control. It's because I don't trust my judgment anymore. You know, so it's that's the way it is. You know, uh, so yeah. We, I've had adult protection service called on me. So there will be more uh, because I want to tell you all about the court cases, which I actually wrote about on March uh, uh, 19th. So if you want to read about it, I will put a link in my vlog here about that. Um but I will make another vlog here soon, and I will keep up with this series. So until next time, I hope you stick around with this series because there will be a lot. Uh, there's, it's not going to be just about them. I'm going to talk about uh, more things like our polyamory, um, uh, our lifestyle with me being a little, um, I got a gimbal, so I will be doing losing things because that's what I'm good at. Um, so there will be episodes with me at the store. Um, you know, the, the, there's going to be all kinds of different vlogs now, um, because I want you to see my life. You know, this is who I am. Um, I'm not ashamed anymore. I'm a little. Uh, this is who I am. And um, you're going to hear my voice change. You're going to hear all kinds of things. So, till next time.